Hi there, so we're going to have a look here at how we balance colour in Final Cut Pro 10. We're going to have a look at the automatic tools and then also look at the, the colour board which is where we can actually go and do some more advanced colour correction or colour adjustment. Okay, So we've got a clip in here on our project or our timeline. Make sure we have it selected using the selection tool and then go to modify balance colour. Now what this does is it will apply a standard colour balance, a white balance to your clip which we can now see across here on the right. Now, this is not analyzed yet, so Final Cut Pro will then go and analyze that footage. You can analyze the footage when you bring it into Final Cut Pro 10, or you can analyze clips in your library here. So if we right click on a clip here, we can go to Analyze and Fix, and we can analyze for balance color, okay? So if we do that, then we can analyze that clip. So we have our basic color adjustment added now. And now if we want to add any further color adjustment, such as desaturating or changing or shifting the colors within our clip, then we need to come to the effects panel down here on the right. So look to the middle of your Final Cut Pro window here, go to the effects panel. And in here, we're looking at the color correction options. Okay. So for example, we have black and white color correction, which is going to change our clip to black and white. We have broadcast safe, which if we drag that down, is going to bring our white levels down so that they're safe for broadcast. Um, and we can also adjust the amount which this is correcting that color. And we can choose the video type NTSC or PAL. Okay, so let's just delete that. So if we want to delete an effect here, we can just highlight it in our inspector. And if you don't see your inspector, then just go to window show inspector and it will come up. We can also do some color correction here as well. So if we drag this to our clip on the timeline, this is where we get into more detail in terms of adjusting color and correcting color. So if we show the correction here, you can see we've got a number of different options. So we can adjust the color, we can adjust the saturation, and we can adjust the exposure. Now for the color, we can adjust the global color. So, and here, if we go below the line, we're removing that color globally. Um, or if we go above the line and drag to the left and right, as you can see here, then we're adding color globally. So from the reds through to the greens, blues, and purples, we can adjust the individual parts of the clip. So for instance, we can take the blacks here and we can add more red into our blacks, or we can add more green into our midtones. Okay, so we've got full control here over the color adjustment that we're doing. So the first color balance will neutralize your clip and this then allows you to change the color or grade your footage, okay? So here we've really kind of got control over all the elements of our color. If we wanna send our color adjustments back to the original, then we can click this little hooked arrow that will send it back to the original color adjustment. I'm just gonna leave this a little warmer so now if we go to saturation, we can now desaturate different parts of our clip. Either globally, we can desaturate it so we can make our clip black and white. Okay, and I'll just send that back. Or we can desaturate the lighter parts of the image. If we're dragging down, we're desaturating. And if we're dragging up, we're saturating that part of the image. So the mid-tones uh, in this example. Okay, so I'm dropping the saturation of the white here, which is mostly this wall behind me. And then increasing the saturation, you can see, of my, my face here. Okay, so if we go to exposure, we can now do the same for exposure. So if we wanna make this background a lot lighter, then we can push this up and that will kind of blow out the background and then we can pull it back down a little bit by adjusting those levels, okay? So we've got control over the different parts of the image and we can adjust until we're kind of happy with the results. So you can see I've made my, my T-shirt there completely black and then we can modify the background color as well. And we have another, a number of other adjustments that we can, we can add um, in terms of color correction as well here. Um, we can also add different color corrections to our clip as well. So you can see here now I've got color correction one and color correction two after adding a correction. And basically that allows me to layer color correction so I can have color corrections for different parts of the image, okay? So that's a quick intro to how to balance your color and then also how to push and pull the colors around when you're working within Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial on color correction in Final Cut Pro 10. And if you have any questions about color correction, about backing up, about working and editing in Final Cut Pro 10, then please don't hesitate to 
drop a comment below or send me a tweet at Ben Housel and um, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.